<laughs> Robin. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. Speaking of 9-11, you don't watch uh, Celebrity Rehab, but at the end Nine. of the season finale, they went down to uh, Ground Zero. It's a long story. For what? But more importantly, did you know that they set up cameras... I'm trying to think, uh, I think they, I think five weeks after it happened, and they they've been taking pictures every, I think every five minutes for the last uh, almost ten years, and they're Holy making shit, and they're making a huge movie when the whole thing is completed. Of what? The rebirth of uh, Ground Zero. They've been taking pictures. They showed the cameras that are on top of these buildings. They're in these big, huge metal boxes. And they've just been taking pictures every five every minutes. Every five minutes and, for ten years. And at the end of Celebrity <laughs> Rehab, it was a side story. I don't need to really... But anyway, they showed a, a, kind of a preview of what they already captured. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. What do they got? A, a union guy sitting on his shovel for fucking <laughs> 8,000 frames? <laughs> yeah. Probably the first seven years, they don't have much uh, fucking... Yeah. Pictures to go to. I don't know. I don't know if you can find it online, Danny. I'm just bringing it up. Maybe, maybe find it for later. But you know, when you see those videos of like uh, blizzards, yeah, and people just take the picture and you see the snow piling up, kind of they kind of show you know what's that type of thing with all the buildings going up. Show what it is. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I guess these guys eventually going to make a you know a movie. And I forgot how many hours they had. It was just some ridiculous number, like 900 hours. Like, but unless you play it all at once. Like, you can't cut it, so how, how do you make a movie of th about that? Do you wait until the end and then go, well, here it is? Uh, <laughs> well, well, you know, it's going to be obviously a big a big uh -oh. voiceover. Big uh, big voiceover will accompany all the photographs. <laughs> but they'll show... Oh, is this it, possibly? Still is all. It's My definitely worth checking out. I'm the director of photography on Project Rebirth. I yeah, mean, Rebirth. I don't know if another time-lapse documentary film that's been done to this extent. I think this film is different because of its scope. I don't think everyone else has done a time-lapse film of this size. 14 35 millimeter motion picture cameras shooting 24 hours a day for seven years, ultimately for 15 years. I don't think anybody else has ever created a, a, a visual document this big about a single event. You know, and I think that makes this, I think that makes Project Rebirth really unique. Right now we have 13 cameras rolling 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we've been doing that for six and a half years so far. Oh. I, we didn't want to pick a format and then have the, the Betamax of documentary films. A 35 millimeter film is really the highest quality image capture that you can do right now for motion pictures. Ooh. You can probably argue that with the technology today, but six years ago that technology didn't exist. So we took the camera, we put a new motor on it and a new lens, and that was our system. It's a Holy company called shit. the Mitchell Camera Corporation, and they made cameras in the 50s and the 60s. Wow. That camera's old. The challenge photographically was to sort of keep these cameras running for this long, and that is certainly becoming a challenge as time goes on. Things are failing or, you know, things just be are wearing out. All the elements are, are taking full effect, so it's becoming a challenge to just sort of keep the older cameras running and we keep adding newer cameras so it's sort of a mm. snowball it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger dedication huh yeah no shit no one's gonna see this I mean, the for another very, seven they're years they're high density mdr board we use for the exterior and then they've got you know this industrial insulation in them they're built weather tight and solid as a rock and we put these batteries in the bottom to make them bottom heavy yeah because they can't really shake really around or anything the side of these buildings on the roof they have these ventilation systems that we got from an atm uh freestanding ask the mouth company <laughs> and in the winter they have a here that kicks time. in and then in the summer, if it gets too humid and the glass starts to condense, the little humidifier, dehumidifier comes on. Oh, wow. So we've been able to sort of maintain a pretty Damn. consistent environment inside the box. On our cameras, it's always a 5.6. And when the sun's out, it goes to a 15th of a second exposure. And when it's dark, it goes to a 30 second exposure. And that light meter just, it sort of seamlessly changes. Boy, this the is thought out. So you don't really no see like the stuttering exposure. The camera, you know, is powered by a power supply. If you lose that, the camera will switch over to the batteries and then run for 12 hours, you know, maybe 18 hours before they die. And the ones that are inside the site are powered by solar panels that we put on the roof. 
and basically the wires come in to the box and they run it through this little control. How did you get the, the rights out, to do this? I know, batteries, right? He's got wild access to a lot of camera, places. And when the sun's not out, it just you know the batteries run the camera. What a disgrace that nothing's been done. Uh, so there's 400 feet of film well, in each magazine. It actually has. Yeah, there's a lot magazine. that has been done. Yeah, yeah. Just watch it should have been done. No, right. it should have been but done earlier. Time right. lapse photography. We can use that 400 feet for about 22 days. So we do one frame every five minutes instead of one frame every 24th of a second. That is really fucking amazing. Yeah, I thought you would like that. Damn. Could you uh, uh, give me that link, Danny? I want to tweet that so people can check it out. Project it's called Project Rebirth. Rebirth. Project Rebirth. What what dedication, though? I mean, that's a project that these guys took on, and no one's hmm. going to see the final product for another seven, eight years. It's a 15-year uh, product. It's 15 years? They started this when we got back to satellite radio. How do you and plan they have nothing to show for it yet. For 15 years. They've been at it six and a half years, they said. So that's about the time we went back to yeah. radio. And they finally got like a little preview video out there that people are checking out. Finally, it's all false, <laughs> by the way. It's actually just one guy there with a camera running around all day and all night. <laughs> He's very tired. <laughs> very I've been fast. taking photographs of the Polaroid. <laughs> Holy mackerel, am I tired? <laughs> I sleep for exactly thirty-seven seconds a day. <laughs> That's all I hear. My 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 my, my sleep is disrupted, Gregory. Is that how the is that how the Polaroid? Yes, yeah, so um, my arm is very muscular from waving it, making the picture come out. I got these, and I take it out, and I wave it, and I run. So much like theme where your picture's getting wet, I have to go back and redo it. I got these easy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you just gotta damn. sit through all those hours of pictures to make it look at, like a movie. Yes, I do. I couldn't get the copyright yeah. for that little store, so I have to go through and X them all out with a magical <laughs> marker. Gregory. Magical marker. Yes, I've been doing that too. I see for thirty-seven seconds a day. Did I say that already? <laughs> Weekends, I don't even take off. <laughs> for Sundays, I sleep from eleven to eleven oh nine. It's the Lord's day. I can't even. I can't even talk without hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking project, huh? Project <laughs> Rebirth. Fuck. God damn, man. That's a, that's somebody that's dedicated to what they do. Oh god. Damn. And you're and you're right, Jimmy. How the fuck do you get the rights to do that? To get that, but then you, you right. had to get permission from the city. Basically, oh. we we're going to put the port authority. Port Dude. Authority, you got oh, probably so many people you got to get. Yeah, permission we're gonna put for. up these huge metal boxes with their own environment on top of buildings. Yeah. We're gonna take pictures of of a, a secure area every five minutes. Yeah. for the next fifteen years or whatever. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, if you don't think they're involved with the government, well, well, you believe you believe. I like when he laughs at you. Mm. You believe what you. <laughs> You think they? You think they captured some good shit going on down there? Some that sex will that will never be part of the movie. Yeah. Sexy time, probably a couple of things. Uh, a couple Th things. Thieves. Some thievery. I'm some very mugging. upset. I had one of my photographs back in 2007 ruined by a darn pigeon, Gregory. It <laughs> ran right in front of my camera. I was so angry. <laughs> but I got him back. I told him to catch a flight, and Sully took care of him. I got these. Okay. Snap, wave, run. <laughs> Uh, you sure do get around. That film goes fast. Yes. <laughs> I run a lot. Yes, I do. I've spent $8,212,000 on film so far. <laughs> I store them all in a garbage bag. I have to organize them, though. I haven't oh, organized them. You just throw them all yes, in there? Yes, I do, Anthony. I put them in a giant a big box. I figure I'll sort through them by eyes, by, by <laughs> visual recognition. <laughs> oh, well, you you got to figure out like when the first one was taken. Yes, I do. One. It's going to be, I should have organized them as I was going along. <laughs> But I was too busy. I was eating salsa chips. With that, <laughs> is the bag in a dry environment there? I think so. Yes, I, I have it so. in storage. Yeah. Your self storage <laughs> in Baltimore. Oh, great, that's <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> yes, I hope the FBI doesn't go in there. Get it? How many, how many total pictures have you taken? A whole big bunch, somewhere between five and two million eight hundred thousand. <laughs> You're not really sure. I'm not exactly sure. I've had time to count. Don't you think it's going to take a long time to even find the first picture you took? That's what people have been saying. But I figure I'll just look up on it. But then there's the second and the third yeah. and infinitum. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, wow, that would be hard to kind of lay out. I tried know. doing that an hour after I started. I couldn't do it. I, I was looking for the same hard hat. I'm like, this guy's not around anymore. Oh, fudge sickles. <laughs> That's what I say when I curse. Because I used to say right. cunt sniffers. And my mother would slap me in the face with her big nipple titty. <laughs> she was fired from Bam Burgers for stealing socks in her vaginal canal. Bam Burgers? Yes, I got you. Yes, it's Schenectady. <laughs> ah, shit. <sighs> That's hilarious. God damn, Mr. Norton. <laughs> That's that dark sound. It's in my head. It's a whole bunch. Yeah. I hear it all the time. I go to get on an elevator, and I hear it. I'm like, who's signing my photograph? They said, nobody. You idiot. That's the elevator noise. I have to get back to work, and I leave without taking the elevator. Uh, Kevin just... from Connecticut just described your life, sir, for the past seven years. Snap, wave, run, magical marker. That's exactly what it is. Snap, wave, run, magical marker. I should have been putting the date and time and stuff, but I was so busy, I was just writing, photograph taken by Theodore Jekler. I can't run that on every one, so no one could steal it. And then scribbling out the store that didn't give their permission. Yes, I was. <laughs> one stupid store, One huh? store. No, there's actually seven. All of my photographs have a bunch of dots on them. <laughs> that, would so, that would so ruin their project. Your project sucks. <laughs> really. My project is very good, Anthony. I hold the camera right under my, my hat brim so the sun doesn't get into it. Oh, great question. Is there an emporium you're using for this? Yes, I'm going to. <laughs> Ted's photograph sorting emporium. You give us pictures, we'll someone organize them. Someone? <laughs> yes. You can't say someone. Well, oh. you have to be honest. That's I've awesome. been sued a bunch of times. <laughs> I guaranteed penis enlargement. <laughs> That's a, a pack of lies. That's a horrible business model. Yes. <laughs> uh, it turns out it didn't help penis enlargement, but it made cancerous tumors grow very quickly. Oh I knew something was growing, but I just didn't, I thought it was penises. It was tumors on the lungs and throat. Tumors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn. Imagine, imagine oh, after 15 God. years, this movie gets horrible <laughs> reviews. Oh, oh God. Yeah, the buildings were awful. Oh. Now they slap a movie together in like four weeks. This guy spent 15 years and no one goes It really season. looks like he only spent 10 years on it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> how, how the fuck do you dedicate yourself for 15 years for one fucking shot? Yeah, that's crazy. That is nuts. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Obviously, shit. it's a no-brainer. It'll do un unbelievable. I don't know. I mean... 9-11 movies are weird. Like, people kind of don't want to see them. I don't yeah, know, but you see about to it? see, like, buildings going up like that in yeah. fast motion uh, with pictures that are taken every five minutes, that's, that shit's kind of cool. When oh, that's the that. difference. I'm going to show them at actual speed. <laughs> I don't like to doctor anything, Gregory. <laughs> so someone will have to sit in the movie for how long? I don't know, but I'm going to just hold each photo in front of the camera and then place it aside and then put the next one and then place it aside and then put the next one. How'd you think I was going to do this? <laughs> how many takes do you think you're going to sell for your big movie? I'm hoping a lot. I'm pre-selling them for $37,000 for the first three rows. My fingernails are going to be in them. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, shit. Hey, uh, is Ted still around? Because uh, somebody wants to know if he's going to be narrating the Rebirth movie. I've heard that he was. Mm. I know he's taking the pictures. Yes. And he hasn't slept in seven years, but... Will he be narrating the movie when it comes out? I think so, but I think that Ted tends to go off off uh, off roading a little bit. Yeah. So it may be hard to get him focused. Yeah. On the. Uh, I can only imagine. But I can only speak for myself. Thank you very kindly. Of uh, course, uh, let me narrating it. Ted, a lot of people want to know if you're going to be narrating. Yeah, of course I will be. You know, and this, yeah. this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. This is photograph number one. <laughs> Taken on uh, August 17th, 2003. It was sunny, and this is 105107. <laughs> this is 105112. Take it on the very same day, still sunny. Temperatures dropping a little bit, clouds in the sky. There's Bill Tetley. Oh no, we're already 45 seconds behind. Have to hurry this along. <laughs> and then picture number three, and picture number, like, that'll take a long time. Holy yes. <laughs> They're saying a billion dollars, but James Cameroon wants to put it in 3D. <laughs> Cameroon. <laughs> he says he'll put it in three dimensions, Gregory. <laughs> we got a moneymaker on our hands. But Ted, you don't have to show every picture. Yes, you do. Why? Because well, I'm not going to have conspiracy buffs telling me that I'm hiding facts. That's true. Oh, that's, that's true. That's a good point.
<laughs> and then at the end of the movie, we're going to go backwards so it looks like the tragedy happened all over again. Uh -oh. Just to remind everybody. <laughs> that is. Never, never forget. Never forget. Never right. forget. I could, I could never forget the sound of that Polaroid. <laughs> a click, click, click it away. Was, did you use the same Polaroid? Yes, I did. I had to buy a couple of new ones, too. <laughs> digital. Did, I didn't like digital. Because I was pointing the camera for the wrong way. 17 <laughs> months of footage was ruined. I have photos of my eye. <laughs> Years of pictures of your 17 eye. months oh, photos 17 of my months. eye. I'm going to try to put that in as an aside. How 9 11 affected me. My tears are dried up. <laughs> I'm going to make that probably a six month piece of the film. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, Exhausting. I'm still there. The virus. Serious XM. This.